Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A day or so ago, I'll let you know that with the recent rollout of Edge version 138, which is the latest release, the Windows 11 marker and acrylic visual effects had been removed. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now, just a quick recap as to what marker effect is. It's an opaque dynamic material that incorporates theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived windows, such as apps and settings. And we can see that in this latest release that the marker effect in the tab strip has been removed. It's not picking up that so-called opaque dynamic material from the desktop background and wallpaper. It just remains this solid light gray title bar and tab strip. Now, I may have good news if that's something you would like to re-enable in the Edge browser. And it turns out that there is a Chromium implementation that still works in Edge, but it's not the kind of full-blown package. It partially works to some degree or the other, which I suppose at the end of the day is better than nothing. And this marker effect comes and goes as I've been posting now for quite some time on the channel. We get the ability to enable it and then Microsoft removes the feature or we get a new flag to enable it and then Microsoft removes the flag and so, so on and so forth. But currently, as mentioned, there is an implementation that still works. So we can use a command line flag, which is this command line flag, to somewhat re-enable the marker effect in the title bar. So we're not talking about acrylic in this video. We're just talking about the marker effect. I'll leave this flag in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. So I'm going to copy that because that's quite a mouthful. And then we're going to head to any shortcut of Microsoft Edge. Right click on that, click on properties. And in the properties, right to the right hand side of that target field, which for most will end in profile directory default, you leave a space and you type or paste that in. So just make sure that after that default or whatever's the last um, entry in your target field, make sure there is a space else this could not work and what we do is we click on apply click on ok we shut down edge and then we relaunch it and you can clearly see already there's that dynamic opaque effect it's picking up my desktop background and as i move it you can see it's kind of changing with that nice bright wallpaper i've chosen just to demonstrate for the purpose of this video so i think that's a nice move in the right direction So if you really want the marker effect in the title bar on the tab strip, that's how you currently can do it in Microsoft Edge. Now, as I've mentioned previously on the channel regarding experimental flags and especially command line flags, they can be removed by Microsoft at any given time. But at today's date, 2nd of July, 2025, this command line flag works as you can see. Now, if you have enabled the command line flag and you are still not seeing this change, then what I recommend is heading into your settings, head into system and performance, clicking on system, and make sure startup boost is turned off because that can cause these command line flags to not work. Because that's an important step if this command line flag isn't working, make sure startup boost is off. And if you want to put everything back to how it was prior to the command line flag, then we just reverse the process, click on the shortcut, right click on the shortcut properties, and we just delete everything to the right of that target field up until the default or whatever your last entry is. And then we click on apply, Click on OK, close the browser, relaunch, and you can see marker has been removed and the solid title bar and tab strip is once again enabled. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.